You won't find that island on any chart. Here's what the island looks like. Skull Mountain, the wall, everything just like on my funny little the first time the modern world saw the shores of Saba Island was in the original release of the 1933 movie, King Kong. Traveling to the island of Saba is like going back in time. Saba's volcanic origins and its remoteness in the Atlantic Caribbean holds one of the last remaining healthy and pristine reefs in the entire region. Welcome to Saba. Saba is just uh, south of uh, St. Martin. It was a volcano at one point, uh, spewed out of the ocean. We're staying on the island tonight. We're diving with Saba Deep. Uh, the island uh, goes from sea level all the way up to about 28, 2900 feet. Um, beautiful uh, high altitude rainforest. Did some fabulous dives, some wall dives, a lot of critters, great shot of some turtles and some sharks. One of the foremost diving spots in the Eastern Caribbean. We hope you enjoy it. These are the reefs of Saba. Wonderful, beautiful, vibrant and alive. But soon, it may be one of the few remaining living reefs around the world because the reefs around the world are dying. My name is Adam Dorfman, and I am the man behind the camera capturing the underwater imagery that you are about to see. I first began scuba diving in 1995, and during the learning process of becoming a diver, a seasoned diver once gave me some advice, and that advice was to go see as many of the coral reefs around the world as I could before they all disappeared. At the time, I truly didn't understand his advice. I just couldn't envision how the majority of these beautiful reefs around the world could die off in my lifetime. Scientists predict that in 40 years, two-thirds of all the coral reefs in the world will be dead. 80% of the coral reefs are already gone and the remaining 20% today remain in danger of extinction. The causes are many, but mostly due to man's interference with nature, like cyanide and dynamite fishing, the introduction of invasive species, global warming, increased CO2 levels and ocean acidity, oil spills, anchoring, ballast water releases from large ships, and general pollution are all to blame. In the past 18 years that I have been visiting the underwater world, I have with my own eyes witnessed the decline of healthy coral reefs, and it saddens me. Some of the most endangered coral reefs are found in the Caribbean. The Florida Keys has had a 44% decline in healthy coral reefs in just the past 20 years alone. So beautiful, so threatened. What many don't realize is that these creatures which resemble colorful rocks and various bits of seaweed are in fact actually living animals. Coral reefs require specific conditions to survive. They form and grow mostly in shallow clear waters where sunlight can easily reach them and they require a relatively narrow range of temperatures. Studies have shown that fish abundance in thriving corals are generally associated with healthy reef shark populations. Coral reefs are one of the most incredible wonders of the natural world. They provide food and shelter for countless species, 
And although they only cover 1% of the ocean's floor, they support over 25% of all marine life found in the oceans today. They are truly the rainforests of the deep, and like the rainforests, they are dying at an alarming rate. Many corals rely on algae-eating fish to eat the algae off the reef that allow new corals the opportunity to settle and grow. As these populations of algae-eating fish decline, the corals are no longer able to keep the algae growth in check and die. Coral reefs, experts say, are the canary in the coal mine, an early warning system. And the future of these bright, colorful reefs doesn't look bright anymore with the continued threat of global warming and pollution. Pollution which has adversely affected the earth over the last century has had a dramatic effect on the health of the reefs worldwide. The majority of the reefs around the world are found bordering land, making them very vulnerable to freshwater runoff and pollution. We know that nature is resilient. However, Evolution takes time, and most of the living organisms on the reef cannot adapt to such rapid environmental changes and are becoming endangered. Though coral reefs are not composed solely of coral alone, the survival of other living organisms on the reef is above all dependent on healthy coral. When the health of the corals are threatened, so is every other species threatened too. Many people have very close relationships and are dependent on the coral reefs for their livelihood. It is estimated that reef and shellfish feed between 30 and 40 million people each year. Coral reefs are the source of medicines that cure illnesses such as ulcers, heart disease, leukemia and other diseases that plague mankind. AZT is based on chemicals extracted from Caribbean reef sponges and has been used to treat HIV infections. More than half of all cancer research is focused on finding cures for marine sources. Every time a reef is destroyed, the chances of relieving pain and finding cures for suffering people around the world are diminished. I hope that some of this information presented has helped you to understand why coral reefs are so valuable to humans and why their destruction needs to be prevented. In conclusion, I will leave you with the advice that was given to me by a wise diver many years ago. Go see as many of the wonderful and vibrant living coral reefs as you can before they are all gone. The race to reef destruction has begun long ago, and unless things change, the finish line will not be in the too distant future. <laughs>